Greetings, true believers, and welcome to another uncanny episode of History of the Marvel Universe. This channel is brought to you in part by Patreon supporters. If you would like to vote in monthly polls and get your name in the special thanks at the end of each episode, you can sign up for as little as $1 per month over at patreon.com slash marymarvelite. The link is in the description below. This week we're talking about a man who's been an inventor, an industrialist, an actor, and an Avenger. It's Simon Williams, Wonder Man. Our story begins in Patterson, New Jersey, where Simon Williams and his brother Eric were born. Their father Sanford was a difficult man to please, and as his sons disappointed him, he became physically abusive. Simon was the more studious of the two brothers and pushed himself to be as good as he could academically. Of course, as is often the case, nothing was ever good enough for his father. Eric, meanwhile, coped with his abuses by becoming a bully himself. When the two became adults and their father passed away, it was Simon who inherited his munitions manufacturing company, which he renamed Williams Innovations. Meanwhile, Eric became a career criminal working for the infamous cartel, the Magia. Between Simon's inexperienced leadership and increasingly strong competition from Stark Industries, the company soon found itself in debt. This was only made worse when a battle between Spider-Man and Hawkeye caused significant damage to company property. Desperate, Simon turned to his brother for help, but Eric's intimidation tactics proved useless in the world of government contracts. At the end of the day, Tony Stark had the tech the military wanted, and Williams was left in the dust. In a final attempt to stay afloat, Simon embezzled money from his own company, planning to invest it in Eric's Magi Ventures. However, this too failed, and Simon was discovered and arrested. In a strange way, Eric idolized his brother and tried to protect Simon's reputation by telling their mother and others that he was the real embezzler. But in court, Simon confessed to his crimes and blamed Tony Stark for his company's failure. However, before his sentencing, Simon's bail was paid by a woman known as the Enchantress. She was part of a group called the Masters of Evil, who were enemies of the Avengers, and thus Tony Stark. The Enchantress brought Simon to South America to meet with her ally, a Nazi scientist named Baron Heinrich Zemo. Zemo offered Simon the power to get revenge on his rival, in exchange asking only that he help the Masters of Evil capture the Avengers. Simon agreed and was bombarded with ionic rays that increased his strength and durability to superhuman levels. Donning a green and red costume, Simon Williams was transformed into Wonder Man. However, Zemo then revealed that without weekly injections of a substance that only he could provide, the treatment that gave Simon his powers would also kill him. With Simon's loyalty secured, the Masters of Evil launched an attack in New York City, luring the Avengers into a battle. While Iron Man and his allies battled the villains, Wonder Man jumped in to aid the Avengers and earned their trust. After the Masters of Evil escaped, Simon told the heroes that Zemo had captured him and forced him to undergo the experiment that transformed him into Wonder Man. Captain America was suspicious, but a magic spell from the Enchantress helped convince him that Wonder Man was dying and came to the Avengers for help, which of course was partially true. While the heroes and their allies searched for a cure, Wonder Man bided his time until an opportunity arose to defeat and capture the Wasp. Contacting Iron Man, Simon claimed that he and the Wasp had both been captured by Zemo to draw the Avengers into their trap. Of course, when the Avengers arrived, they were ambushed by Wonder Man and the Masters of Evil. The villains were nearly victorious, but Simon felt regret over betraying the heroes who took him in and attempted to help him. And when Zemo prepared to kill the captive heroes, Wonder Man turned on the Masters of Evil. This turned the tide of battle as Zemo and his allies were forced to flee, but not before delivering a parting shot to their former pawn. And because he hadn't received the necessary serum, Wonder Man started dying shortly thereafter. Hoping to find some way to restore him, the Avenger, Hank Pym, recorded a digital copy of Wonder Man's brain patterns and kept his body preserved in a special coffin. 
Those brain patterns were later stolen by Pym's creation, the killer robot known as Ultron, who used them in the creation of his own synthesoid son, the Vision. Meanwhile, Eric Williams went mad with grief following his brother's apparent death and adopted the costumed identity of the Grim Reaper. Eric also battled the Avengers, which put him into conflict with the Vision, who had joined their ranks. After stealing Simon's body, Eric offered to transfer the Vision's mind into it, believing that in some way the Synthesoid was his brother. The Vision actually considered it, but ultimately decided not to work with the mad villain. And so Eric instead brought Simon's body to the voodoo practitioner known as the Black Talon, who attempted to resurrect him as a zombie, or Zuvembi as they're sometimes called. This seemingly worked, and the zombie Wonder Man was sent to destroy the Avengers. He shambled towards the heroes, groaning that the Vision had stolen his mind. However, he collapsed shortly after and was taken into the mansion. There he was examined by Pym, Stark, and another Avenger, Hank McCoy, who's perhaps better known as the X-Man Beast. They determined that he was somehow alive again, and while his mind was damaged, he was slowly recovering. He was soon awakened by a villain called the Living Laser, who used an ancient artifact called the Serpent Crown to mentally control him. This worked long enough for Wonder Man to be sent to battle the Beast, who was able to defeat Simon by using his own strength against him, sending him careening into a wall when he lunged towards him. Beast brought Wonder Man to get medical attention, and when he awakened, his mind was clear. The two joined forces to help the Avengers defeat the Living Laser, beginning a long-standing friendship. Wonder Man stayed with the Avengers after that, taking time to reflect on everything that had happened, including his relation to the Vision, who was hostile towards Simon, his return threatening his sense of identity. Things came to a head when the Avengers were attacked and held captive by the Grim Reaper, who wanted to determine once and for all which of them was the real Simon Williams. While the Vision's brain patterns were initially based on those of Wonder Man, he lacked Simon's memories and thus the two were undeniably distinct. And while Wonder Man's glowing eyes indicated that he had become something other than human, ultimately he was still Simon Williams. In the end, the Grim Reaper's weaponry proved ineffective against Wonder Man's super-powered body, and he was defeated yet again. This all leaves many questions about the nature of Simon's resurrection and what he had become. To answer these, he was examined by some of the greatest minds among the Avengers, including Stark, Pym, Beast, and the Black Panther. What they discovered was that Zemo's process of endowing Simon with superhuman powers didn't truly kill him, but instead transformed him into a being of living, ionic energy. His apparent death was actually a deep state of hibernation that he entered as his metamorphosis began. It's also been implied that Ultron had a hand in triggering his revival before Eric brought him to the Black Talon. And so Wonder Man's apparent zombification was actually his mind slowly reawakening as his transformation completed. By the time he was freed from the Living Laser's control, his mind had fully acclimated to his new form as Living Energy. Simon remained at Avenger's mansion as an extended guest, and his relationship with the Vision improved as the two accepted each other as something akin to brothers. Simon also felt himself deeply attracted to the Vision's wife, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch, but he was ashamed of those feelings and kept his love hidden. He also met Carol Danvers, who was still operating as Ms. Marvel at the time, and the two formed a flirtatious friendship. But perhaps the strongest friendship he forged was that with the Beast, whose extroverted personality complemented Simon's introspective nature. However, soon after, the US government called for a restructuring of the team, limiting their number to seven core members, and prohibiting non-members from staying at the mansion. Wonder Man was not selected, and so Simon Williams decided to instead pursue a career in acting. But before he left, he was formally granted Avengers status as a reserve member, and his past crimes were officially pardoned. 
It also became widely believed that Simon's brother Eric was the one responsible for embezzling from William's innovations. Unfortunately, Simon's acting career was slow to start, as his first role was in an off-Broadway play called City of Angst, which closed after a single night. The only steady job he could get was the role of Mr. Muscles, a caveman in a children's TV show called Uncle Elmer. This proved to be an embarrassing affair, as he tended to be the butt of the show's jokes. He later lost this job after being blamed for an incident in which a child actor pulled off Uncle Elmer's wig during filming. He occasionally aided the Avengers, and during one battle he rescued a teenage girl named Cindy Newts, earning him a lifelong fan. And when the Falcon left the core Avengers team, Wonder Man was invited to take his place, making him a full member. It was around this time that he discovered that a Pittsburgh steel mill that was formerly owned by Williams Innovations had been taken over by the Magia. This led him to investigate the main Brooklyn branch for similar dealings. He talked to his old vice president, Madison Dash, who confirmed that in Simon's absence, the Magia had taken over and forced him out of the company. Simon broke into the plant to search for evidence, and Maddie insisted on coming along. However, the two were detected, and in the end, the Magia representative destroyed the plant themselves, along with any evidence of illegal activities. While Wonder Man escaped unharmed, Madison Dash sustained fatal injuries from the explosion. For a time, Simon continued as an actor and an Avenger, but had difficulty balancing his two lives. He later landed a starring role as TV's Monster Man, whose appearance was based on Ben Grimm, The Thing. However, the show was cancelled mid-season after Grimm discovered that it was being used as a form of mind control by the alien Hulk known as Zemnu. When the Avengers later restructured again, Simon decided to leave the team, and Hercules offered to introduce him to Hollywood producers and directors. Despite landing a part in the popular soap opera Secret Hospital, Simon Williams' acting career continued to flounder, and he was fired after forgetting to mask his glowing red eyes. He could mimic the look of normal human eyes, but doing so required a degree of concentration. As a side note, that show, Secret Hospital, later featured Mary Jane Watson in the role of Sybil Shane. Simon kept in contact with the Avengers, and when the Vision was later injured in battle, it was an energy transfusion from Wonder Man that saved his life. During this procedure, the Grim Reaper attacked again, now considering both of them to be inhuman imitations of his brother. However, the Vision and Wonder Man joined their powers to defeat the Reaper once again. Simon's association with Earth's Mightiest Heroes is also what finally allowed his career to start turning around, since his agent was able to use his connections to book him on David Letterman's Late Night Talk Show. Hawkeye, Black Widow, Black Panther, and of course, The Beast all agreed to appear alongside Wonder Man. If you think that sounds wild, sometime I should tell you about how Spider-Man met the cast of Saturday Night Live and John Belushi was nearly killed by the Silver Samurai. Anyway, the Avengers' Letterman appearance was interrupted by an attack from a rogue inventor, but Wonder Man and the others dealt with it. A West Coast producer saw this and tracked Simon down, offering him a job as a stunt performer. While he wasn't exactly a leading man, his strength and durability allowed him to do that job better than most, and he worked on films like Decimator 2 and The Demon That Devoured Hollywood. His eccentric career path soon garnered a group of dedicated admirers called Wonder Fans, who followed everything he was featured in. Moving to Los Angeles, he also joined up with Hawkeye's new West Coast Avengers team, and more effectively split his time between his Hollywood work and his superhero duties. The Vision even met Simon's mother, who accepted him as her third son. However, when the Grim Reaper next returned, he did so with a group of allies, including Ultron and the Black Talon. His plot this time was to transfer the minds of both Wonder Man and the Vision into Ultron's computer, and then delete anything that was different between them, distilling them into what he believed to be a digital version of his brother's soul. 
He would then transfer the resulting brain patterns into the zombified body of a criminal he'd surgically altered to look like Simon Williams before his transformation into Wonder Man. While it's questionable if this insane plan would have even worked, Wonder Man and the Vision joined forces to prevent it. Ultimately, Wonder Man was able to convince the Reaper that he was the real Simon by insisting that it was he who was guilty of embezzling and not Eric. And through this, Simon came to terms with his own guilt over the choices that he'd made. When he first returned from the dead and was made an Avenger, he didn't feel like he deserved it, but now he resolved to cleanse himself and be a better man. The Grim Reaper accepted that Simon was his real brother, but was overwhelmed by the realization that he'd almost killed the very person he'd sworn to avenge. In a mad panic, he ran but lost his footing in the underground caverns, and in the end, Eric Williams fell to his doom. Somewhat fittingly, death would not be the end of the man who called himself the Grim Reaper, but we can talk more about his resurrections another day. Simon, meanwhile, set the record straight regarding his crimes while he was a guest on The Tonight Show. He made it clear that he was guilty of the embezzlement scandal before he became Wonder Man and not Eric. Of course, he had long since been pardoned for those crimes, and the public responded favorably to his honesty. His star rose, and he was subsequently cast as the lead villain of the Arnold Schwarzenegger film Archon 4. His increasing fame caused his confidence to grow and his ego to swell. However, his time with the Avengers eventually humbled him, particularly after a battle with the gamma-powered monstrosity known as the Abomination. Or rather, that was the villain Tyrannus in the Abomination's body. We talked about that whole situation in another video, which I'll link in the description below. The important thing is that the monster attacked while Simon was promoting the release of Archon 4. Simon thought defeating the villain would earn him some easy publicity, but the fight was a fairly difficult one. Furthermore, the film crews who were present believed the fight to be staged and didn't bother to record it. While he'd been considering leaving the Avengers, this humbling experience convinced him to stay. Wonder Man also encountered and briefly battled the real Archon on whom the movie series was loosely based. The ruler of an extra-dimensional world, Archon considered the representation of him to be an insult, and Simon agreed to talk to the movie studios about ceasing production on the franchise. Meanwhile, when the Vision and the Scarlet Witch had their twin children, one was named William, in reference to Simon Williams. However, their family fell apart after the Vision was disassembled by a coalition of government intelligence agencies wiping his mind. Hank Pym was able to reassemble him and restore his memories using recorded data, but his personality and emotions had been erased. Pym theorized that he could complete the restoration by copying Wonder Man's brain patterns, but Simon was reluctant. This was partly due to his own secret love for Wanda, which he'd kept hidden out of shame. After Wanda endured further traumas, including the apparent destruction of her own children, Simon agreed to copy his brain patterns onto the Vision in hopes of easing her pain. However, the emotionless Vision declined and decided to return to the East Coast. Descending into criminal insanity, the Scarlet Witch rejoined her alleged father, Magneto, and seemingly killed Wonder Man. Then, with her reality-warping powers, Wanda restored Simon and held him captive along with several of his teammates. There, in a disturbing scene, she tormented Simon, mocking him for his secret love, and using her powers to scrape his normally invulnerable skin with her fingernails while she molested him. And despite the level of cruelty that she displayed during this dark time, Simon still cared for Wanda. She later turned back from her madness, in part thanks to her teacher, Agatha Harkness, but for more information on that and what happened to her children, I've linked another video in the description. The important thing is that while she recovered, Simon was supportive in spite of everything that had happened. He later asked her out to dinner, and Wanda hesitantly agreed. However, their date was interrupted by another attack from the now undead Grim Reaper and Wanda later made it clear that she didn't feel the same way he did, and that they shouldn't date anymore. 
Simon's agent, Neil Saroyan, managed to keep getting him work, but Williams desired more serious, dramatic roles. This was somewhat undermined when Neil hired a young actor named Esteban Beach to be Wonder Man's kid sidekick, Spider. Not only that, but a model named Ginger Beach, who was also Spider's sister, was hired to be Simon's fake girlfriend. However, Simon was much more interested in a screenwriter he met named Alex Flores. He was later surprised to learn that Alex had a young daughter, but still pursued a relationship with her. This side of Wonder Man's life was fairly surreal, but not without danger. For example, one opponent he faced was a woman who'd been transformed into an abomination-like creature after she volunteered for an experimental trial to cure PMS with gamma rays. Alternatively, he still operated as an Avenger and was involved in the much more serious event Operation Galactic Storm. The events of which involve an interstellar war between two alien empires, the Kree and the Shi'ar. When that war threatened the Earth, the Avengers intervened, including Wonder Man. When the Shi'ar created a nega bomb to decimate their enemies, Simon took the vision and attempted to disarm it. The emotionless vision argued that they should let the bomb explode and end the war, but Simon refused to allow the deaths of billions. However, he was ultimately unable to stop it, and the Negabomb reportedly eradicated 98% of the Kree's great intergalactic empire. Wonder Man and the Vision were caught in the blast, but survived because of the way the bomb radiated outwards. Unlike a normal explosion, their close proximity made it less deadly, and so both seemed relatively uninjured. However, as Wonder Man's body absorbed the negative radiation, his powers were left unstable. After he returned to Earth, he leaked ionic energy and inadvertently granted superpowers to his friends and neighbors, including Spider, Ginger, and Alex and her daughter Jamie. Meanwhile, he began to grow angry and unstable, and even killed an opponent he'd inadvertently empowered named Angkor. This was perhaps justified, as he was a creature of anger and hate who perished after absorbing too much rage from Wonder Man during their battle. More egregious, however, was the death of the criminal gunman, Freddie Munson. Munson was a killer, yes, involved in a brutal gang war in Los Angeles, but initial reports made it seem as though Wonder Man had brutally beaten the gunman to death after disarming him. It was later clarified that Simon was trying to scare him by punching the ground next to his head, but that caused Munson to have a heart attack. Wonder Man, of course, didn't have any way of knowing that he had a pre-existing heart condition, and so no charges were pressed against him. Regardless, he was confronted by the other Avengers over his rage and instability, and ultimately left the team. He also planned on quitting acting, but his agent Neil promised him a lead role in a cinematic version of Macbeth. Weirdly, at least one version of the official handbook misreports this as Hamlet. I think that's just an error, though. What he didn't realize was that this job was arranged by a local crime lord, Lotus Newmark, to get him away from Los Angeles. She plotted to seize more power and control over the city, challenging the dominance of the Pride, a secretive group of the West Coast's most influential crime lords. While Simon was gone, the friends and allies he'd accidentally empowered with ionic energy formed a short-lived crime-fighting team called the Crazy Eight. But when Lotus sent assassins to kill them, Wonder Man returned to save his friends. However, Alex was critically injured during the battle, and Simon brought her to a hospital. Shortly after this, Wonder Man was drawn into a conflict between the satanic demon Mephisto and his son Blackheart. During this, Simon was assailed with fake memories and false revelations meant to disorient and confuse him. However, he ultimately pushed through the lies and embraced his humanity, rededicating himself to being a hero. Not only that, but he was also able to convince Blackheart to heal Alex, which he did mostly to spite his father. After escaping from Hell, Simon reabsorbed the ionic energy from the Crazy Eight, mostly depowering them. 
His own powers had stabilized once again, and he even gained the ability to fly. The fallout from his savage days followed him for a time, putting him into conflict with the Incredible Hulk, but he dedicated himself to protecting others and continued to prove himself. He and Alex took their relationship to the next level and began making plans to marry. They even considered adopting Spider after Ginger was arrested for child endangerment. He even reunited with Wanda when Tony Stark put together a new team called Forceworks in the wake of the West Coast Avengers dissolution. However, he was soon targeted by remnants of the Kree Empire who blamed him for the disaster involving the Nega Bomb. During the ensuing battle, a Kree ion cannon was ruptured and threatened to explode and destroy the Earth. Simon saved the planet by carrying the damaged weapon into space, but was caught in the explosion. His body was rent asunder by the blast, and his ionic energies were scattered over the skies of California. For the second time, it seemed to be the death of Wonder Man. However, Simon Williams still existed as dispersed energy, and some time later, during a battle with the sorceress Morgan Le Fay, the Scarlet Witch was able to pull him together, albeit temporarily. In fact, it seems that Simon's love for Wanda is what allowed his soul to remain tethered to the Earth. While he lacked permanent cohesion, Wanda summoned Simon multiple times after that, with it becoming easier each time until Wonder Man was even able to materialize himself while Wanda was unconscious. The two grew closer and even spent the night together when Wanda summoned him into her bedroom. Finally, during another battle with the resurrected Grim Reaper, Wanda accepted her repressed love, and Simon Williams was fully restored to life. With his ionic powers stronger than ever, he continued to aid the Avengers, but declined to become a full member of the roster for some time. Furthermore, his newfound relationship with the Scarlet Witch had put a strain on his friendship with the Vision, who had since regained his capacity for human emotions. For more on how that happened, I've linked another video in the description. Of course, Simon also felt guilty over leaving Alex behind, and returned to LA with the Beast to take care of unfinished business. But it seems that while he was gone, Alex had met someone new and gotten married. Wonder Man also finally defeated Lotus, who was apprehended by the police. He met a longtime Wonder fan, Cindy Newts, who told him how much he'd inspired her. She in turn inspired him to start a non-profit organization called Second Chances, which was dedicated to helping those who were overwhelmed by circumstances beyond their control. He later moved back to LA to actively promote the foundation and continue his acting career, and the distance eventually ended his relationship with Wanda. They came to realize that their time together was more about passion than love, and while they did deeply care for one another, loved each other even, they were better as friends. He later found himself attracted to Ms. Marvel, Carol Danvers, particularly after she kissed him to snap him out of MODOK's mind control, but this ultimately amounted to little more than a brief fling. He also discovered that his old agent, Neil Saroyan, was the leader of an assassin group called the Nobility. Wonder Man tried to rehabilitate one of the assassins, a girl named Huan, who operated as the villainous Lady Killer. However, she ultimately took her own life to prevent herself from being controlled by Saroyan. When Simon then went to confront his former ally, he found that Neil had already been killed by his own people. Over the years, Wonder Man's relationship with the Avengers has shifted and changed more than once. Sometimes he would fight alongside them as an ally, while others he opposed their coming together, believing they were making things worse instead of better. In more recent years, he's reconciled his feelings on such matters by committing to a strict pacifistic policy, while still using his superpowers to help people in need. Meanwhile, he never really let go of his feelings for Wanda, which led to more tension between them. They later spent one more night together, but it was some time before they could talk about it. 
Out of necessity, Simon's ionic form was absorbed by Rogue to re-empower her, but it was a while before he could free himself and even longer before he could talk to Wanda. Ultimately, it seems that Simon and Wanda's last night together wasn't the beginning of their relationship, but the end of it. Despite his hardships, Simon has continued his pacifistic approach to superheroics. He remains close friends with the Beast and will aid the Avengers when it doesn't involve punching people. And for everything that he has been in the past, Simon Williams continues to be... Wonder Man. But... That's all I've got for you this week, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, share the video, and subscribe for more Marvelous content. Be sure to leave a comment letting me know what Marvel hero or villain you want to hear about next, and as always, the issues I've talked about in this video are listed in the description below if you would like to read them for yourself, as well as links to other places you can find me, including my Patreon page, where for only a dollar a month you can get your name in these special thanks here. So until next time, true believers... Excelsior!